What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Mom, coming at y'all with a book that I have been reading. I have this book for like two weeks now, and it's called Feeling Good. And it says the new mood therapy, the clinically proven drug-free treatment for depression. Um, and this is what it looks like. I got it off Amazon. And at the top it says national bestseller. This book is a national bestseller. And it has more than 4 million copies printed. And it's written by David D. Burns, MD. Um, and this book is for somebody who needs help with depression. Okay, if you're new to my channel or you may have missed a couple of videos... Um, I did let you guys know that I had started receiving uh, therapy. The lady that I had, as far as my therapist, she was not good at all. She was telling me things that a random person could have told me um, when I was trying to get my problem fixed, you know. But that was the first time. And then the second time, she just was, she literally was falling asleep. And her falling asleep just kind of crushed my my whole world it, it did a it did a number on me what like when she was falling asleep i was so hurt because i was at the times that she was falling asleep i was pouring out my heart and i was crying and talking and i look up and she like like sleep like seriously and i you know i kind of like pause with my talking and i you know stop and she you know it just was not good, y'all. Anyways, I wanted to come tell you about this book while Nivea is asleep. So, this book I've been reading. I have not been reading it long because I kind of like set it aside and I'm like, uh, I'm going to get to it. Or I was thinking that I don't even want to read that book because it's not going to help me. It's just a book, you know. Ain't nothing I need going to be in no book. Ladies, the, the therapist couldn't tell me nothing and she so-called got like, I think it was 18 or 19 years of experience dealing with people who who suffer from depression and all that she told me was hey you're severely depressed get this take this um i forgot I forgot what it was called but i think it was something to do with back scores and take this to your doctor and get a prescription okay y'all as y'all know i told y'all that in my last story time video i did take the paper to the doctor to get a prescription the doctor looked at me and was like you know he was asking me what's wrong like why'd you come here to just get a prescription because that's what i was told come here go to the doctor get a prescription for depression that's what she said and he wanted to know like what kind of depression or why you what's this and what's that you know he referred me to an actual a different therapist the uh, psychiatrist he, he referred me to a psychiatrist that, i called that guy and the first thing he said before i can even see you i need you to go online and fill out this form and before um i told him about my last therapist okay and he's like well you can't trust them because all they want is your money his talk game was good he said that all they want is your money and so and i was like cool but then he turned right around and said, before you can have an appointment with me, after he had no spit game for like 10 minutes, before you can schedule an appointment with me, I need you to go online to fill out this um, evaluation form and then pay the down payment um, of my cost. And I was like, how much is the down payment? And then he said, everything is online. So I go online, fill out the little survey. At the end of the survey, it was like, we need $102 deposit just to make the first initial appointment. He said they did not accept the insurance. It was cash only. And it was $102 just to get in the dough. And I was like, are you serious? Just to, and I'm like, no, it got to be a better way. I'm, you know, I, so I bought this book. I was kind of desperate. You know, I really felt like I needed somebody to talk to or some, somewhere to vent. And I didn't have that. I didn't feel comfortable. I feel more comfortable talking to you guys than I feel with talking to the therapist and all those people that went to school all these years for doing that crap which they didn't do right 
um, and then I'm real skeptical about going to my next appointment, which is on May the seventh. I got a real good mind to call and cancel that appointment after reading this book, and I've only read like the first four chapters, and I'm on the fourth chapter right now. Um, I can say that the first three chapters was, was pretty much nothing, but explaining who, what, when, where, why, how type stuff, but it seemed like you start getting help within like the end of the fourth chapter going into the fifth chapter. And so far, I've read a lot of things that made me smile. I read a lot of things that made me say, oh, okay. That's what I wanted. I wanted to feel like, oh, okay, so that's what I should do. And maybe that will help. I, I really felt like that so far. I recommend this book. Um, nobody gave it to me. Nobody told me to review it. I'm just reviewing it on my own free will. <laughs> and, um, let me read the back to you before I go. I think it says, a book to read and reread, which the Los Angeles Times said. Okay. Right here. It says, the good news is that anxiety, guilt, pessimism, procrastination, low self-esteem, and other black holes of depression can be treated quickly and effectively without drugs. In Feeling Good, eminent psychiatrist David D. Burns outlines remarkable techniques that can lift your spirits and help you develop a positive outlook on life, enabling you to recognize what causes your mood swings, nip negative feelings in the mud, deal with guilt, handle hostility and criticism, overcome addiction to love and approval, build self-esteem, feel good every day. Now, that's what I need. I need a therapist. Well, I needed a therapist who could help me with all of those things. I felt like I was at a standstill that I couldn't get my thoughts together and I couldn't I couldn't move forward um, with just daily activities, uh, daily waking up and, and just thinking right, you know, just doing that. I couldn't move forward. I was stuck in the same thought process in the same hole. And I felt like I needed somebody to help me pull through. And by the grace of God, with the help of God, prayer, and you guys helping me, leading me in the right direction of where to get help. And it's it essentially going on Amazon and finding this book. Um, Nivea is here. Even when Nivea is leaving, I need this now that Nivea is here because when she leaves, I know that's going to be like, I don't want her to go. I won't be sad when she leaves because I know she's going to come back, you know, to visit me. But for right now, she's here and I'm just going to enjoy the moment. And I recommend this book to anybody who want to go get it. I'll leave the link in the description box below um, so you can check it out, you know, if you, if you think you might need help. Honestly, I didn't know I needed help. Until I posted a video on YouTube and everybody told me I needed help. Um, because depression can make you think that you're okay even when you're not. Okay? It, it really can because it, it messes with your thought process, your way of thinking. And I thank you guys for helping me uh, along my journey. You know? I really appreciate you guys. And that's all I got to say in this video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Um, and I will holla at y'all later. Bye.